guys, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. How are you? It's Wednesday, Tuesday, it's Tuesday, right? I don't even know what day it is, it's Tuesday, okay. And it's time to talk about some stuff that's happening on Instagram, which I'm actually kind of stunned. And I will say that this is um, courtesy of Reddit because I was so busy doing another video on Flowrida and um, some stuff going on with one of his children who he's not taking care of and I if you have not seen this video, I know that you are not probably typically going to watch something about a hip hop star, but this story tugged at my heart because it was related to a child that has a lot going on and he has a ton of money and he is not taking care of his kid and it's really upsetting. So check that video out, you can see it up here. But let's talk about Sister Wives because there's been some stuff happening on Instagram and Mariah, Brown, who is the only daughter of Mary and Cody Brown, has, you know, sort of separated herself from the family. She lives now in Chicago. She's engaged to a woman, um, Audrey. She came out um, to her parents on a couple seasons ago and has been more or less accepted by the family. Now, this past season, there was an episode about Mariah and how she had been sort of not accepted within the church community and it had been very challenging for her. And one of the things that Mary had actually talked about Mariah growing up was that Mariah was so into that way of life and she was planning on being a sister wife. And then obviously when she grew up and she developed you know, her sense of what it is and who it is that she likes, she realized that that life wasn't for her. And now she is in a committed relationship and they're gonna get married soon. And Audrey seems like a really sweet woman and the two of them seem like a great couple. The surprise by the audience that they got along and that they accepted her was sort of interesting because you know we would expect that at least some of them would be less than accepting because of the lifestyle and the conservative beliefs that the Sister Wives family holds. So, and it's also not allowed in the church that they're a part of. So it was surprising when almost all of the sister wives were so on board and happy and accepting, Mary struggled with it and now she's doing better. But Mariah has been sort of like on the outskirts or sort of on the fringe of this family for quite some time. And she has been sort of taking a stand on her Instagram. And a few weeks ago, I actually noticed this on her Instagram. She was talking about how it was sort of around the same time the stuff happened with George Floyd and there was all this unrest and she started using her platform to sort of speak up, not only for herself, but for other people that are you know, in po populations that are not well taken care of. And she made this statement and I'll tell you and I'll read it to you what she said. So this is what she posted and it was like, she so she posted this actually May 11th, so it's been a couple months ago. But when she posted this, I saw it and I wasn't totally sure if she was speaking to someone at her family. But now, after what happened this week, which we'll get there in a second, I'm pretty sure she was. So she wrote, I am tired, I am fed up with the, disson the dissonance in this world. I am sick of the injustices I see daily and often I feel so much despair. Today, I feel so daunted by the world, by the lack of care for fellow human beings. My guiding question over the years has been, how do I help others care about other human beings? I'm not sure I will ever find, I'm not sure I will ever find that answer, but I'll be damned if I don't try. No one is free while others are oppressed. Your freedom is bounded up in mine. Do not forget that we are all walking with each other home no one is perfect but we all do better we all can do better now no better do better as they say i'm tired of talk and no action from myself and others so i'm committing today that along with my own education i will be educating no longer will i learn by myself i will actively engage and educate whenever and however i can and i want you to commit to it as well because this isn't just a moment it's a movement people are dealing with injustices all over the world she made another post on may 24th that it says it's a beautiful world but we have to fight for our rights and our hopes and our dreams uh, this life is one of resistance maybe not for you but for me and for many others i believe in radical human rights I believe in radical love and I hope you do too. Truth will out. As Arthur was Weasel, Weasley says, tells us, I effing hope it's, he's right. And then, you know, 
she has sort of been like sharing a lot of very poignant posts like this. And then there was a story that she shared recently. And this one I feel like is directed specifically at her family. So she's sort of dropping these hints that people aren't around her are not accepting her. People around her are not um, really fighting for her or seeing her. And then she posted this and this is what it said. You do not get to say you love me and then vote for Trump. You do not get to say you care about my rights and then go for Trump. You do not get to say all lives matter and then go vote for Trump. Trump, will t Trump has taken away my rights. This is a fact. So when you think about how you want to vote for him because it's better for your wallet, your taxes, your arms, remember that you are voting to take away my rights, my health care, my identity in the legal sphere, my right to have a family. Your money is more important than my life. So if you are going to continue to say that you love me and that you fight for my rights, that you will champion my cause, remember that the second you cast your ballot, it will either not be for Trump or it will either not be for Trump or you will not have access to me any longer in your life. I will no longer be associated with people who think that money in their pockets or the political associations they have are more important than my life, than my rights. And remember that if you make that the choice to vote for Donald Trump, you are making the choice to no longer have me in your life. Now, I should note that her family is staunchly conservative. Um, her, fam her, her dad consistently promotes stuff. I mean, he was just quoting Ronald Reagan. He is a very conservative fundamentalist Mormon. So are, his, so are her parents. They're theoretically going to vote for Trump. And so this is interesting because there's no way they're not. They are completely um, anti the agenda of social equality. They are not for social justice. They are very going to be conservative about family values and making sure that their core beliefs in their belief system is contained and, you know, strengthened and is, um, maintained and it's not going to happen if they vote for a democratic candidate and i'm not trying to get political here that's just sort of the nature of these families they are republicans and so mariah is telling her family that if you vote for trump you are going to be cut off and it's interesting because cody brown recently on the fourth of july shared this long quote about Ronald Reagan. He, on his timeline on Twitter, consistently posts about having, you know, right to arms, um, right to his um, freedom of his family, and right to, you know, his freedom of religion. And those are big sticking points in the Republican Party. They are also pro life. So I can't, under any circumstances, seeing their, these very fundamentalists going, yeah, okay, I'm going to vote for a Democrat. It just wouldn't happen. It would be like saying that Jim Bob Duggar is going to vote for Biden. It won't happen. So she is very clearly in the line in the sand saying she's going to cut her family off. And it's because she wants them to see her, value her, recognize her, and recognize that the policies that she feels that have been put into place have been detrimental not only to her, to, but other people in the LGBTQ+. And by not supporting her, not loving her, not being there for her, she is truly upset. And she moved very far away, so I don't think we should be shocked by that. So has this whole thing that's happening on TV been fake? Has the acceptance of this family been faked? I think probably a little bit. Um, but the other thing that happened was Peyton, her brother, who is Christine and Cody's son, shared a photo on his Instagram where he was posting about Blue Lives Matter. And that obviously made Mariah upset because she has been doing a lot of BLM um, content on her, on her specific Instagram and has been pretty like 
purposeful in how she's been sharing things. And someone responded to him, defunding the police doesn't mean police will no longer exist. Call your sister and have a conversation with her. And so that was from someone named Jen Olson Yoga. And Peyton says, a bunch of other white women have been bringing up Mariah and I'm confused as to why they think that she'll make a difference, why she'll make a difference. I love Mariah very much, but we cannot stand each other. He has basically said that Mariah, you're not going to make a difference. Mariah, you're fighting for no job. You're fighting for no purpose. And I can't stand you. So imagine your brother, he's in the military. Um, he's also, you know, very conservative and he's telling her like, all right, we're done. We can't stand each other. And his, you know, he's got Audrey, they had Audrey going in on there. I mean, it was, he eventually turned the comments off because of the things that they were getting into and the fighting that they were doing. And then she posts that statement and it's, it's sad. It's really sad that this is so common in these kinds of communities where individuals that are not cis heteros are ostracized. Um, their, their beliefs and their, um, their entire lives and their existence are told that they are wrong, that they are sinning, that they are bad. And I can't imagine how she must feel. And I feel like, you know, as viewers, they have been lying to the wider community that they support her when it's very clear that there's probably a lack of support, at least in my opinion, from this family based on the fact that they are fundamentalist Mormons. So people have commonly said that what we see on the show is not real, that Cody is a lot worse than what we see. We've heard a lot of things about the people that he hangs out with, like his friend that was recently in court for things that he did to his wife and Cody defended him and was going to speak on his behalf. And Kyle was actually on Sister Wives. So Cody has a history of sticking up for men that you know can do whatever they want to women and making the woman the bad person. He plays his wives against each other. And in this case with Mariah, I can't imagine that they're going to be like, yeah, okay, we're going to vote for Biden. Tell me in what world they're going to vote for Biden. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not even, again, not trying to be political. I don't really care who you guys vote for. I'm just talking about the Browns. And um, this is how Mariah feels. This is how Peyton feels. And I'm imagining that Peyton's feelings are not isolated. I'm guessing that the other conservative family members probably feel the same way as Peyton, but they're not saying it out loud. And Mariah has made it clear she's, she's drawing her line in the sand and she says, if you don't vote for someone else other than Trump, you will not have me in your lives. So tell me what your thoughts are. Are you surprised? Or are you just like, why did it take so long for this to finally come out? And are you sad that this is sort of her reality? Or do you think that this is just sibling rivalry? Um, do you think that message was specifically to Peyton or was it to her whole family? And how do you think she's handling all of this? I feel bad, I really do. And I hope that she knows that there's an entire community out here that will support and love her no matter who she is and who she loves. All right, you guys, I'll be back later with more. Bye.